Well folks, here it is, it finally arrived. Finally got my hands on my Adler. This is the A110 lever action shotgun that the media have just blown out of proportion and made out to be this big bad weapon. <coughs> so, I ended up getting the um, <coughs> synthetic stock in the 20 inch barrel. Um, <clears throat> I've already started modifying with a buttstock seven round, uh, sorry, eight round um, sock. I went with the synthetic because obviously if you're going to be getting around in the scrub, I didn't want to damage the nice timber finish. Synthetic, you can... You know, throw it in the back of the ute on the bike, throw it over the shoulder, walk around the scrub, it doesn't matter. But also, because it comes with a little Picatinny rail and that um, polymer or um, foregrip. Um, pretty handy for a, a night torch, uh, if you really wanted to, a laser pointer. Uh, it's actually a bit too far forward for a, a vertical foregrip. I mean, maybe you could put a bipod on there if you're really keen. <clears throat> but 20 inch is sort of limiting your distance that you can get a good accurate range on. Um, <clears throat> it's got the dovetail up the top. Dovetail rail on the top here goes for the full length of the, the main body there and uh, there's a cleavers down in Melbourne sell a um, dovetail to Picatinny rail adapter that goes from about there to about here somewhere but I found on eBay just a, a little one that I'm going to try and I've got a cheap eBay uh, 1 to 40 red dot and I've got a little um, another type of red dot and I didn't have much luck with them because they're cheapos they were sort of hard to keep accurate with uh, with the rifle I was trying it on uh, 22 Magnum but um, I'll just try them on this because it's not super important for accuracy it's just a quick up to the eye shot and see how I go with it um, wouldn't mind trying slugs out at a distance and see how they go I didn't do a put it together assembly video I noticed there's already another bloke on YouTube that did an assembly video and um, oh, it's, it's really really basic you undo that nut there you slide that nut and the um, uh, sling ring forward and this plastic foregrip comes forward and the barrel goes in foregrip comes down actually you had to put the foregrip over the the bottom ring of that barrel put that on first slide the whole thing in do that nut up it is so basic it's not funny but check it the other dude's video out i'll try and put a link uh in my descriptions um he, he just does it, does it within minutes you know it's it's really easy um it was a little bit tight getting this over the 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 barrel bottom ring that slides over your bottom um, uh, uh, chamber. Um, it was a bit tight getting the, the foregrip over it, but um, that's probably a good thing more than anything else. Um, I've already seen the other thing cleavers do is a, um, uh, they, they do a an adapter that you can buy a Remington 870 pump action shotgun foregrip that will go onto this lever action um, to be totally honest with you the only thing I've found with the, the oil that that comes on this standard this knurling finish even though it's got a pretty good sort of feel to it it's quite deep it's still pretty slippery and I mean that might be just because of the oil but um, I'd be interested to see once you've got a bit of sweat on your hands, once you're doing a bit of running around in the bush and you've got a bit of sweat on your hands, whether that's that grip's any good or not, or if it is still really slippery. 
Um, so, yeah, with my buttstock. Oh, the other thing that cleavers do um, is they have a six shot um, uh, shell holder that you take these two pins out and it sits on the side here and you can have your six rounds ready to go. Um, I was a bit dubious about that one due to, you know, if you're walking around your bush with that on your back or you're riding around on a motorbike and they're only like those sort of half cup style ones that go along there. I was just a bit worried they'd pop out. And they're about a hundred bucks or, or 120 bucks. Yeah, hundred bucks I think they are. 99. Um, but they might be a nice option. Be be pretty cool. Look really good. Um, so I haven't had a chance to shoot it yet. I only just picked it up yesterday. Thought I'd do a quick video on it. Um, next time you'll see the Picatinny rail. A sight of some type. A torch on the bottom there. So it's, it's going to come up pretty mean. With the... Um, tactical sort of style black and everything um pigs won't know what hit them the biggest thing i found that <clears throat> most other people complain about with these this lever action i'll oh, just you know so you know too there's the safety on safety off it's just a very basic you can see the red so safety's off so the biggest thing that people are complaining about is the notchiness of the lever action itself what I found, if you are trying to quickly cycle and you use your fingers at the front end here and you try to push forward in that direction, it's very, very tough and it's very hard to get around and, and even coming back very hard. However, oh, got, got me boardish caught and shorts caught. However, if... And you've got to think it's a lever action. You've got to use your mechanical pivot point and a fulcrum and push from the back down and around. So you're sort of pointing that way. So you're not trying to push forward and back as quickly in the shortest possible distance. You've got to push from the back out and around and back again. So I'll show you the difference. Simple as that. Easy piece of piss so I don't, I'm wondering if that's where a lot of people are going wrong it's not loaded Push it out. Um, everything looks really quite neat um, looks pretty well made it's very light I'll, I'm gonna throw on on the scales in a minute to show you how light it is um, <clears throat> and also just wanted to show you this uh, the book that comes with it they have the lever action instruction manual and the different chokes that come in the um, the with the rifle kit. So the, uh, the that one came actually in the rifle. I'm not sure if that's what they always do or just happen to be mine. But um, so we've got five strokes at the top. There is your skeet. Then a, a three is your, um, uh, what do they call it, modified choke, and one for your full. So uh, it's a pretty good range really, like I'm, I wouldn't be shooting skeet when I'm out in the bush with a 20, or wouldn't be shooting skeet with a 20 inch uh, barrel shotgun, I've got a, a full length um, over under that I could I'd have a bit of sport with. But skeet, if you wanted to shoot um, uh, buckshot or um, solids, probably more likely would be um, good for that. So I'm going to try that with some buckshot and see how accurate it is, and then maybe come down to the um, modified and then full choke for uh, ducks and bunnies, maybe. Um, so anyway, I just, you know, they're just the three chokes that come with it. Skeet, modified, full. I'm not sure if you can buy the others separate. Comes with the, the key. They all just sit in there 
nice and even. Comes in its own little box with like a fake uh, carbon fibre look on it. Cheap, cheap plastic, but hey, it, it's only just to hold them in. And I'll just show you how they go in. Grab that one for no particular reason. <clears throat> Thread out. And as you all know, and for those that don't, you always have to make sure your choke is very snug. <clears throat> Pardon me. Been a bit sick lately. And make sure it's very snug. And always check that as you're out and about shooting every now and then just check it and make sure she's nice and tight so there you go um, I've got a lot of variety of, of different ammo but just for just for now I've, I've bought these um, champion low recoil uh, seven and a half um, 1325 it's interesting only after a meter you dropped a uh, 125 um, is that metres per second, I, I guess you'd say? Wouldn't be feet per second, would it, if it's in metres? But, um, <clears throat> yeah, 125 straight out the barrel, within a metre. Um, there, just a trial. So I want to go out, and with the different, um, different chokes, I will do some um, different patterns with different round sizes and that sort of thing. Just gonna go this was not planned I just thought about it after I started videoing you can see that zero and then this is with the um, eight rounds in it 3.4 kilograms um, so it's very lightweight, very lightweight. All right. Cheers, dudes.